What's up, everybody? Out of the pile, seven day. Here I go once again for the fourth million time. Let me tell you something, brother. This is the fourth million time I've been doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Whoo! <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the uh, old school wrestling theme I'm on. So let's go over here. Um, if you want to go to Node.js, you download the one that says recommended for most users. And the same thing with um, Visual Studio Code. The, the latest one is right here for me. I got a 64-bit version. I was having issues reinstalling my NPMs, and now I know why. So I'm going to copy and paste it because it makes my life easier. First things first, let's uh, reinstall this. I had a lot of issues going on, so I just basically deleted a lot of things. And I'm in my D drive. You, most people are going to be in their C drive. So if you want to go in the D drive, because like me, you have a gaming computer that's slow. No, I'm joking. You have a two gigabyte, I mean, terabyte here. And you only got like 200 gigabytes, something like that there. 300 gigabytes, something like that. Like 200 or 250 or something like that. I don't know. 300 gigabytes here, but most of it's used. I'm like, why haven't I been using this? It's because I haven't been installing anything like that. Installations sometimes take up more room than necessary. So what I'm going to do first, um, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to um, not put it in that path. I'm going to put it in this path. And the good thing about what I like about Microsoft Visual Studio Code is, like, check this out. I could just, I don't know why I went the hard way. Close all that. Open that. Programs. And it's going to automatically make its own thing right here. The, this is a folder. So anything after that slash means if it's not in this folder, it's going to make that folder. You see? Uh, that's what I want. I want to make sure I add to path. I don't care about that. Uh, I'm not registered. I'm not doing anything. Add open with code or uh, action. With any, uh, I don't really know that that stuff says I never click on anything else but add to path. If it's not click, click it. Okay, install it. It's going to install. It's like the fourth billion time that I've installed it. Yeah, I just want to let you know I got to install it. That was my version of Macho Man. <laughs> I, I'm not good with um, that. So Visual Studio Code is installed. Now you're gonna see me copy and paste this. You're not gonna see where I copied it from. You're gonna see me paste it. So now what I don't like about Node is that it's not as easy. You gotta change that. You gotta come down here and then go to Programs. And now you gotta type in Node.js, you know? Come on, Node.js. And now when you click Next, and next, and I don't know what chocolate is, so I'm just gonna click next and install. Yes, and then it's gonna make a folder. You'll see in a second. And this video is mainly for my Windows users because I don't use Linux and I don't use I don't like Git Bash, and I'm gonna use the command line. Okay, the command prompt. So now this is all installed. That's beautiful. Everything's great. Everything's gangster. I got my command prompt right here, so I'm going to click there. Now, the first things first, if you want, okay, if you're in the C drive, then you don't have to do what I'm doing, skip this part. But I, well, you could be low case, a capital D, um, and colon is going to give me to my D drive. If you're on your C drive installing this, leave it there. Don't do what I did, but you can follow the next path. So I want to CD into um, Node.js, right? So if you drag and drop it, if you're a C drive, it's just going to go exactly where the path is. Like if there's a C drive over here, it's going to be like this long, long drive, which I don't want to deal with. So, okay. Now, with, with my school, we do Nodemon. And this dash G is means global. When I was installing this originally, I just put MGM installed. But the reason I'm doing it globally, just like my school said, is because I'm going to be making more than, more than one React um, application or project. So don't forget, forget dash G and Nodemon. Um, NPM is like uh, um, something package manage, node package management install. It means to install it, and dash G means globally, so like for the whole computer. I hope it works for the whole computer. Nodemon means, uh, Nodemon. I don't know, really know what that is, but that's what the school told me to do. That's what I'm doing. Press enter. 
This is why it wasn't working before. God, I hope I have no issues. Okay, I got some warnings. And, um, yeah. It looks good to me. <laughs> okay, so now I have a, let me drop down here. I hope that's all I needed. So it, it got into all these things. It had an option of skipping, an option of dependencies. I don't need that. Not suffers. Um, I don't know what that is. So what I do, like if I don't want to see all this, so I got it installed. That's what that means. If I press CLS, that means clear. So I don't have to look at all that mumbo jumbo stuff. CD dot dot, CD dot dot. And I'm gonna go to CD um, React, right? Because that's where I have my project in. So on my D drive or main drive, I have a folder called uh, React or capital letters as you saw here. So you probably don't have to do what I have to do, but this is my new React uh, folder because I want to. I was using OneDrive before. And I forget to tell you, yeah, I was using OneDrive before, and um, what happened with the OneDrive? Um, I think it slowed some stuff down. We will find out when we make this project. So now I'm gonna. Now I'm in React. I'm gonna make a project. Um, this project is gonna be whatever I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna um, go to npm create React app. What is it? NPX. NPX. NPX create dash um, React dash app. Bada ba. NPX is a different. Uh, it's basically saying um, you want an application. We don't know what the X is for, so I can't explain. I know it's a um, it's a node, a project, uh, something or the other. So this could be whatever name you want, but um, we're gonna just call it Al the Pal seventy eight app. And you cannot use any uppercases. You, however, can use hyphens, but I don't like using hyphens at all. Um, at all. <laughs> so hopefully, I did this right. So let's see what's gonna happen. Look at that. Now this might take like 47 years, okay? Wow, wow, oh no, it's not done. <laughs> so when I was doing it on, um, when I was doing this, uh, what they call it, um, on the OneDrive, just to get to this spot took like three minutes. So that was pretty darn fast and now it's, what happened is, what's happening right now is um, unloading all these things in your modules and stuff like that, all types of modules. It's your um, NPM modules or something, React modules or something like that. So you see right here, this is this is way faster than before. So I'm gonna keep talking so I can make you guys happy. Let me tell you a joke. This joke was from Hot Shots by Do. So a horse walks into the bar and the bartender says, why such a long face? <laughs> he was like, you must be kidding. I'm not kidding. I was kidding. I would have said it. And then that joke. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, wow. But that took like five whole minutes the last time. And like I said, um, it's still not done. But this is like 20 times faster. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my gaming computer. I guess my gaming computer. Oh, it's still not done. Like 40,000 things. Eventually, it'll it'll end up loading. Okay, there that was twenty times faster than the first seven times I've done it, because the first seven times, well, the first three times I messed up a lot. Um, I deleted everything and renamed it. So, how do you know it worked in React? Well, one we could double click and it's gonna say out of power seventy blah blah blah. So what we wanna do is in React. This is the one thing I do. Like, actually, you know what? I'm in the CD code, so where we at? We're in uh, DIR. And that's one thing I do like about Git Bash. You could type in DIR, DIR or LS, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you. And let me CD to you to here. Maybe you do, um, oh man. Uh, space, enter. So I'm here, right? So if I type DIR, it's just like that. But if you type LS, it looks so much prettier so much prettier all right um but the good thing about that i got rid of that so now i'm in command prompt I, and um yeah you could uh change these things if you edit stuff and properties and stuff like that 
Yeah. You could make it bigger, smaller. I like the bigger so when I record, you can see it. Like I can see it. So what I want to do is I, you know, I CD into out and I, and I go like that, right? And then I want to type in code and then press the space bar and one space, type the period bar, and bam, press enter. And because I downloaded and you downloaded it, now you're inside your app. Okay, okay. So now that we're inside our app, okay. And I downloaded a lot of extensions before and I deleted, but for some reason they don't ever leave. Like this extension is still installed. <laughs> so I don't know where that came from. I deleted the whole thing, but it remembers me. It loves me so much that it installed it again for me. And I am born in February, so amethyst is my color, and purple is the color of kings. Back in the medieval times, if you don't believe me, look it up. And pink is an actual color of uh, that you killed somebody in wars in the medieval times. So if you don't believe me, you can look that up. That I don't joke around because I was looking up some history, mainly because there's a castle named Cardona in Spain. My last name's Cardona, Ugas and Fra. And that's it. So that's my installations. Um, you see, I, I will come here and I will get here. And you can see I got Ameth I got the color stuff. I got Code Runner, the one with Dot Run. Um, I that's for Chrome. I don't I don't even know why I have it. I got Live Server. This uh, helps you look at things lively. Uh, live Share. I don't I don't I don't know what that's for. <laughs> but Microsoft did it. Well, it's to share it with people um, in the community. I think. And this is just a thing that I could uninstall right now because I don't need it. So let's reload it. It's just going to reload it without that thing now. Uh, let's see. We got open in browser. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't really use it much. Path IntelliSense. It just helps you, like, when you start typing, like, right here. You got all that good stuff. Helps you with that. Um, prettier coder thing. Python. Rainbow. I think it's for the... Uh, shows you right here. It makes things colorful. <laughs> and SQLite because I have Python and stuff like that so you can write code from SQLite in there. But enough about that. Let's go into here. Now this is the main setup, okay? Well, first of all, let's see if it works. Oh yeah, we gotta come here. It's not gonna work if unless we type in npm start. The only command I remember by heart. So when you type in npm start, it's gonna take you um, well, it does it anyway, but we're going to allow the access because we don't normally allow the access for the 3000. So what's going to happen is you're going to see this beautiful thing we call a um, a host page, basically. It's just React's page of saying, yo, the thing is working. Uh, no, hi, no, hi. So that's that. No, hi. <laughs> so basically that is we go into source and that's the app JS. So let's say we didn't want that stupid logo, even though it's awesome. If we do that, because I've downloaded this before and I already had this on um, whatever preferences, I think it is, in uh, settings, maybe. Uh, man, um, I don't know where it's at. Might be in my no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess that up. It's not there. It's uh, something in file. I think. Here we go. File. Save. Auto save right here. I'm so blind. So when I don't have auto save on, the thing don't work. But when you have auto save on, it's the best thing because if you type something, you stop, it auto saves. If you don't have it on, right, and then, oh, I didn't mean, you know, I, I typed that. If you don't have it on, every time you start typing and fixing something, you gotta either press Control S or um, something like that. But the cool thing is, I put auto save on for myself. I like it. It's not always recommended. But I like it. So when we come, let me pull this over here so it's easy to click and know where I'm at. So that disappeared, right? And now the problem is with this, all right, let's take away the divs. You, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see an error because it's looking for some divs, okay? So dot app.js, I don't like. And the reason I don't like it is because if I type something in, hold on, let's, let's, let's do it. If I type in div, it should, you should press tab. No, it doesn't want that to happen. So you have to actually type in div and then, then it'll close it up for you at least. And now the error is gone and everything that goes in here is in div. But in this, I believe it's the source tag right here. If you make a folder called components, right? Enter and in that, and in that folder you create a JSX file, which I wonder if I could change that to a JSX file. 
We'll figure it out later. We could call it blah.jsx because we're not going to really do anything with it. But with the JSX file, which I do like, which there's some other stuff I'm supposed to put in that I, I don't know off the top of my head. But if you type in li, it knows you want an li. It knows it wants a list. And you could use all the shortcuts again that you would use for HTML, like li times 16 because you have so many things in there. You know, things of that nature. But there's some things you have to put into here. You can't just uh, do nothing in this. Like, you got to do some imports and stuff like that. Let's see what, what this says. You got imports, you know, this one has the imports from logos and stuff. You don't need that. But you do need the import from app CSS. Um, and the cool thing is that you don't need none of this stuff in the app CSS. And you could just do um, body, um, you could do like a div. And then you could put like, you know, you always have to put width. You gotta type it right, and then you gotta put. Um, if you press tab, like I'm sure another thing I love about this, if you press tab, and it, it'll close everything for you, so you could put like 900 px or something like that for the width of the div, and then you could put um, margin. You see the rainbow? Rainbow does this right here with the colors. It helps you um, organize your colors and stuff like that. Press tab and press tab because you like to make it auto. So hopefully, okay, it's gonna say fail because when I have an auto save, it it didn't know what margin was and it didn't automatically reset so if you press that oh there's nothing in the div so let's do this right here in the divs i love no i gotta do the spanish i love america or well, lowercase a not capital k um a whatever i love america is there so if you put that in a um oh what am i doing if you put that in a h1 tag which this is the part that i hate h1 tag and then you delete that and you go to end and then you press slash and then tab then you see it hopefully i love america okay so let's see what happens if we make that an x i don't know it'll probably break it probably has no idea what's going on so fail source error blah 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 source f dot j s x so I don't know. I don't. I, this is the first time I've actually started working it. I know that's supposed to be app.js. So we could rename things. It's, it's probably looking. Oh, this is the body already. See, it has bodies for you, indexes and stuff like that. It's probably looking for um, app.js, probably in the public. Let me see in this right here. Uh, don't touch this file unless you're just adding like uh, bootstrap to it or something like that. See, some people don't know about this trick. Control F, um, app, dot js, and this one, as you can see, is is content. It's gonna create app and all that good stuff. And I don't see it's not in here. There's no results, so it's not in there. Maybe it's in here. Um, nope. Where, where is it looking it for? Maybe it's in the those modules, which is like a billion things. <laughs> Your best bet is to leave it at js. Unless you know where it is at in this bad boy. Because this is a framework. And that's all I wanted to show you is how to set this up. Um, actually, just to set up the first path for now. And then I'll get you into the um, other stuff that I was working on. Actually, check it out. Yeah. This this when I was doing these mirror things and this uh, React stuff. This is the one. We, this is the main reason I use Git Bash. <laughs> That's the only reason I use it. So we got app.js is the one that has, um, okay, this is my first project. So this was really a bad one to show. So let's get out of there. <laughs> I'll pop it up. That was a good one. Let's get bash here. Let's call it again. And that's really the only reason I use get bash. <laughs> so if you want to know how do you um, set up your components card, you know, your person's card right here. So if this is going green because I have GitHub connected to it. I might try to show you how to do that. I don't even remember. So this is the stuff you have to um, import. So I'm glad I had this open and I forgot I had all these projects. So if you want that to work on the other one, so let's say, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And let's rename this back to uh, .js. Now everything's going to work. There's no issues. Now this is gonna work, I left for America again. So we go here, right, and what do we, components, blah. So we gotta, we gotta do some work here, you know what I'm saying? 
We gotta work here. We gotta make a class. Look, the class could be on anything, but we gotta make sure it extends something. So we're gonna um, we're gonna do this class like that. So what am I doing? And we're gonna control V that sucker right there. And instead of saying personal card, we're gonna call it the blah. The blah. The blah. For for and then it's, it's gonna say nothing. It's gonna be the blah. And everything I'm gonna do right now is gonna, I'm gonna show you using the other one because I literally just learned this stuff. So honestly, you don't have to do all this at this time. But um, matter of fact, we don't need this. So all we need is a render. And um, I think that's all we need. Let's see for now. Let's see. This is where. Okay, renders here. So let's do render control C. And let's come back over here and press control V. That's literally all we need. That's literally all we need. We could change some things. Because like every freaking um, video is with that. So we don't need that. So this right here, this is something different. We could put it in here. So we didn't have this construct thing right here with this dot props. Every single one of these would have to be like um, this dot props dot last name. You know what I'm saying? And what I did instead is I got rid of the this dot props for everything we have to do here by adding a, a constant variable of a object that equals this dot props. So it's kind of like an object that would look kind of like this, and then it. Would, so this is basically what the ob objects looks like, you know, like if you did any coding before, and then it would be age, and then it would be this dot prop. Oh, not even have to do this dot age or something like that, because you know, it's already there. So we're not worried about that right now. We just wanted to show you what a component is. This is a component. You could do more things with the component, as you saw in other thing. So let's get rid of this and let's just make a component have uh, what we want the component to have. Have a high bam, we have a high bam right here. And then inside the curly braces, we'll put like uh, first name. Um, um, we're not worried about the hair color at this time. We're going to put um, first name and then we're going to put I am this old. Right, and then we got um, we're gonna put age in here. All right, this, so we what we what we did was we got rid of the this dot props by doing it this way. So we don't need that either. So I'm not gonna go crazy into it. So now we come over here, and oh, don't forget, in order to use this, we gotta put um, what's the word? Oh, what are the words? I got another one, but I'm trying to do it without the uh, the words. Um, ah, I forgot something exports module that exports like that with the s gets the blah okay and on app.js we gotta put imports oh man we're doing it right um <laughs> whoa whoa the blah Dot slash components because it's inside another folder. So dot slash components. They need the dot, right? Don't don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. Are there dots? There are dots. There are dots. There are dots. There are dots. 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 All right. So inside here, we would put uh, instead of I love America, we could leave that there. Maybe I could be wrong. And we're gonna put uh, this as the. Um, blah okay we could put it that way but I don't like doing it that way for some reason um, nothing really worked so we go here and we can make it like a closing tag in itself and uh, is it, um, uh, this is the part I do forget I'm not gonna lie to ya so let's go back over here to my other app and the app JS okay it's personal card first name okay so there you go. You saw it. Let's just make let's just make this uh, like this. We just have to. 
I'm just gonna call this like that because you know that's the baseball player. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. And in this component, we're gonna press Control V. And first name is Poppy from um, the Boston Pirates or whatever Red Sox. <laughs> I'm from Massachusetts. I'm really not a baseball fan at all. I'll be forgetting names. And then we're gonna put age right here, and we're gonna put uh, uh oh, uh oh, oh my goodness. Oh, actually, we're gonna put age and curly braces because, like, if you ever wanted to change the name in the future, mad easy. We're gonna put age, and um, we're gonna put um, 362 years old. And when we see it render, if it rendered right, so because I messed it up before and it automatically saved it, okay. This thing does not love me at all. So did I did I write that wrong? Let's let's see. Import from component. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Forgive me, okay? So the good thing, one thing I do love, and hopefully it does it in the JS file too, you put the second slash, and then you press down and tab, tab it's going to give you the information you need. You don't need to write it out yourself. So that's one thing I do like about it. Like, let's rewrite the whole thing so we don't forget next time. So we press dot, slash, it gives, us the, it gives me the folder. So you press tab, then you press slash again, and it gives me that because I already highlighted it, right? Uh, it, it would have said blah because you have the word blah somewhere in here. Oh, I don't mind that you wrote it once. So there you go. Now that should work, maybe. Uh, no, this thing don't love me. Import as the blah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this thing, okay? I'm not gonna say default export. Uh, we don't know what that is. <laughs> but default export. Okay, maybe that's what I other thing I did wrong. Let's let's uh let's let's look at the, this one. Oh export default oh there you go, see? Those are the, those are the words I needed. That's the this is the thing is that this is actually the ES six version of it. And I think JS is yeah, I this is the ES six version I think of it, of the version of the way of doing it. So I wrote it wrong down here. See, that does it automatically for you. So I wrote it wrong. I'm thinking of something else, probably. Um, so let's put that in there. Okay, I don't know why that's not working. Now. Let, let's let's see. Um, son of a gun. Oh, I don't need an equal size. That's great. That's great. I don't need the equal size. So. There's different ways of doing that. So this is the easy way of doing it. See, we did it together, everybody. I did that door with the thing. What am I missing? You got an equal sign, the lady. See, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you, Hulkster. Hey, brother, you got an equal sign. You need to delete the equal sign. Now, the thing is, I also have this thing called Prettier downloaded on it. So if I press Control S, um, usually it fixes um, a lot of the um, indentations and stuff like that. But now, maybe, for the love of God, this is my word. I left America. Hi, Poppy. I'm this old, 362 years old. See, everything's working just fine. And another pretty thing I learned is that if you wanted to make things look good, you can literally make things look good. This is very simple JavaScript I'm going to show you. This is the wrong one. So let's come back over here. Very simple JavaScript. So remember how I put app CSS? So what we could do right here is what is this in nothing, the blah. So um, can I just do the blah? Let's try it. Oh no, you know what, I don't need to. I got div, there you go, div. And you could do this stuff, this type of stuff to it. Font, size, and if people don't know, you could put a larger X large, a double X large, and then small. We're gonna make that double X large, man, because we thug life sometimes. And we're gonna put font, type weight and we're gonna just make it um a hundred I don't really know what a hundred is but if you want to see uh let's see there you go a hundred font weight that's what that looks like for the div you know and then I could take this check it out I could actually do that to this look was it h1 I have it in and then you go like this and then turn you can put like font and then weight and then you put it a hundred and then it might change how it looks. Okay, come on, man. See how I made it thinner? 
but it's, it's still bold, but it's, th it's thinner. The weight is your boldness. Since this is already bold, it's gonna look um, worse and better. Let's just put it 200. 200, you know what I mean? You see, you see how it changed? See, um, it's there. So that looks beautiful, right? So let's let's put the font family something else, you know? You could, you could do so many things with the font. Um, I'm just trying to look for the, uh, I don't really give a damn about the rest of that stuff. I'm just trying to make it look like a script. Let's see if that worked. I don't know if that worked. Hi, papi, I'm this on tres sectors. See, that's not really what I wanted, pero está bien. And if I wanted the div to be like crazy colors and stuff like that, I would put color and I would put wheat because I just learned about that color. <laughs> and then I would put background. Not background color, you could put image too. But I will put background and I put um last time I put a linear gradient. This time I wanna put uh what's a gradient? Um radial gradient. And what a radial gradient is, it starts from the center. So let's just see how this looks like that. And I had it black brown. Oh no, I had it brown, black. I like those three colors for now. We'll worry about that again later. Okay, maybe this, it, maybe I broke it. So there you go. That's gangster right there. Look at that. The div is um, a gradient. See, so what happens is the H2, or the H1 gets its own gradient linear. I, I don't know why that happens. So that happens right there. And um, I got an email. <laughs> so that happens there. So if you take the H1 out of there, right? Like you get rid of H1 here. And then we get um, rid of H1, uh, where am I at? The H1 tag here. And then here. Yeah, this gives you errors as soon as you don't have a closing tag. And it messes up the whole file. So let's see how that looks. Why is that like ugly like that? I don't, I don't get it. That should be one thing. Okay, anyways. So let's put, um, Let's get rid of our left for me. Oh, because it's a component. Never mind. So well, let's see what that looks like. And let's make the height of the div in here um, something stupid. So let's, I, I like to put it on here. We're going to put height for honey, PX, you know what I'm saying? For now, bam. So you see how the linear gradient works? Usually people would just have it with two colors. So let's just get rid of that brown. So I believe this is the outside, this is the inside. Let's see. That was wrong. That was wrong. Let's do it backwards now. Let's do it backwards. Just for, um, yeah, those words. We're going to get rid of this. Um, and then we're going to come over here. We're going to put a little comma right here. And that's going to fix everything. Maybe it's broken. So that makes it black. And, uh, you know, so that's the gradient. Um, you only need two colors for that. So there you go, that's that, that's my story. As you see, we fixed our problems. My biggest problem is installing that, that NPM once again for the second time. It's not the first day that's happened to me, it's the second time that's happened to me. Uh, it's because I kept forgetting to put that global node, man. Oh man, that was a headache before. But let's see our folder now. This is um, the big thing, programs. One of the biggest problems I had is that it kept Let's see, um, it kept giving me all types of files here and it shouldn't have gave me all those files. So all those files should be in there, all crazy files. I got all these files outside of that, so I was messing everything up. But that is that, okay? And that's how you set up a React project or app. Um, there's another way to do it, but it's uh, less convenient. And like I said, the best thing about the JSX files is um, the fact that VS Code would actually do the closing tags for you. And you could actually, you know, do a table here. And like, say you had a table, right? It does a closing table. And you had a table row here, right? It does a closing row. But if you wanted to have like four table headers, you got a table header here. And then you times it by four. Or if you wanted a class in each table header, so you got a class, um, just put it out. Then you could times that by four. Because you want them all to look the same and have the linear gradient, um, the radio or the linear 
Or you wanted them all to have like something like um, U L L I, and you wanted to have a linear um, gradient. I don't know how to spell linear. Um, let's go back to gradient. <laughs> gradient. Uh, gradient. What I supposed to go? Grain. I supposed to put a comma here or something? Oh, that should be like that. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I should just do that, and then I just want like a linear. Why is not letting me do that? Let's type it this way. Oh, Control Z, Control C, Radiator Gradient, or maybe Control V, and Type T. No, I can't do it on the Li, so my mistake. So, oh, no wonder, because I don't have an Li. I want to do it on the TD, right? <laughs> It was like, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, was it a TH? TH, right? It, it was a TH, okay. And then we want to try to that. Um, no, that's not, it's not going to let me do it on these things. Maybe certain things. Um, yeah, it's just not letting me do it. Oh, no one does. It's background. No one does not let me do it. Push me in the face there. Linear gradient. There it is, right? Now with linear grading, you probably want three, you probably want like brown, black, oh, comma, black, and then brown again, right? You probably want it like that, and then maybe, um, that's all messed up, right? There's nothing in my table header, so of course you can't see it. And, I'm gonna do S and S and S, whoops, can't see that S. And S. And then S. Maybe that comes out like that. See? That's your table headers right there. And then you have the, the linear gradient. Then you could always make it bigger. And there it is. I'm just going to make it height. So you can see it. Oh. What's that? And then we're going to make it uh, 60 pixels. The heck with it. Scroll it up. So now you can see the linear gradient on that. How it goes from brown to black to brown. And I think you could put um, like crazy colors in there too. So you keep going with it. So you brown, black, brown, black. So you can make it however you like it. But that's just a little secret and trick to make your stuff look cool, like me. <laughs> um, so that's that. That is what it is. And so now that we got that, um, I'm done with this video. Mwah.